All right. In today's video, this tutorial will show you how to get VMware tools to work properly and install correctly and to get full color, which I'm meaning to say to get full 32-bit color in Windows 2000. For those of you who want to set up an old retro Windows 2000 virtual machine, You might gonna run into this little problem if you try to install VMware tools already have the VMware tools disk inserted. So if I go to install VMware tools, you're gonna run into this error message. Which you're gonna need to install this update right here, for instance, KB835732. And you can actually get the update from the Microsoft website and I'm gonna show you the actual update where you can actually download it in this video all right if you type this update number in Google search in Windows 2000 security update or Windows 2000 update KB8357 30 or 83.57.32. It'll bring you to the, you, you can actually find it through the Microsoft Update Catalog. And you can actually download it from here. And you could choose whatever language that you prefer to use the update. And it'll download the an e, a .exe file for those of you who don't know what the update is going to be on, but you should already know it. A .exe is where it isn't executable, but even Windows XP got the same update. But you want to get the one that's for strictly Windows 2000, which is going to be the one that's going to be 6.8 megabytes. So once you download the file, then you're going to need a third-party program or or some special disk imaging software to make an ISO to put the security update and some other security fixes. So let's head back to the Windows 2000 virtual machine. All right, I'm back at the Windows 2000 virtual machine. I got my um, ISO that I created with some Windows, up, Windows 2000 updates. That I'm going to be needing and to get Windows 2000 to work properly in VMware. So if you're going to run into this little problem, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to right click and we're going to go to Open. So let's go ahead and get the update. Here it is. I had labeled each update. You may gonna have to restart the virtual machine, so we may or may not, so oh we ain't gonna restart now. I'm gonna go ahead and install VMware tools and Oh, we gotta restart the virtual machine, so I'll be definitely right back. All right, we rebooted the virtual machine, so let's try it again. Forgot to inst install VMware, insert the VMware tools disk image. At once I had suddenly muted the background noise from my TV. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose typical. And it's going to also install some drivers as well. Also the drag and drop capabilities that you can do in your virtual machine from your actual PC. To transfer our files from the virtual machine into the actual PC.
And there you have it. And we're going to adjust the settings once we get the VM virtual machine all configured. So let me go ahead and stop the video and I'll be right back once again. All right, I got my uh, screen recorder adjusted so we can make sure the screen resolution settings work in the virtual machine. So either way, you can um, head over to display properties. I'm going to go to settings tab and yes, we do have true color 32 bit. So we're going to adjust that slider to try 1024 by 768. Otherwise, other, other than that, it looks real perfect on this virtual machine. And to give Windows 2000 the full experience, we're going to enable smooth edges of screen fonts and show contents while dragging so we can get the full use of our video card in the virtual machine or the virtual video driver. So go ahead and enjoy your new Windows 2000 virtual machine. So more there will be more to come and thanks for watching.